In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze logs in Splunk. So Splunk is a powerful tool for searching, monitoring, and analyzing machine data. And I'll walk you through the steps to get the most of your log data. So first, you'll need to log into your Splunk instance. Open your browser and navigate to the localhost or the code that the Splunk will give to you. So once you're logged in, Extremely, you'll be taken to the Splunk dashboard. So this is the Splunk dashboard. Now that you're logged in, you need to do or navigate the search and reporting app where you can start analyzing logs. You can click on the apps drop down at the top left corner of your Splunk dashboard and then select search and reporting from the list. So before you start analyzing logs, you need to make sure that the logs you want to analyze are indexed in Splunk. So you can use the following steps to narrow down your data. In the search data or search bar, specify the index where your logs are stored. For example, if you're analyzing system logs, your query might look like this. Or if you are not sure where your logs are located, try searching for all available logs by entering this code. And this will help you identify where the logs are stored so you can filter them down properly. So once you've selected your log data, you can start writing search processing language or SPL queries to refine your search SPL queries. And then SPL allows you to filter, group, and display log data based on various criteria. And here are some basic examples. You can search for a specific event. If, for example, field logging attempts, you can copy this code that I'll be prompted on the screen. And then to filter logs by time, you can copy this code that I'll be prompted again on the screen. And then to group data, you can copy this code again that I'll be prompted. And then click on the search button to execute your query. So once the search results are displayed, you can analyze the log data using Splunk's powerful tool and here's to break down and interpret the results. So for the time range, you can use the time picker in the top right corner to adjust the time range for your search. You can choose a present range or specify custom dates. And then for the events view, in the events tab, we can view your logs as individual events. And then this is a powerful for detailed log data analysis such as identifying specific errors and then for the statistic view in the statistic tab you can view aggregated data based on your query this is for grid for summarizing and grouping data and then like the number of login attempts per user and now charts and graphs you can also visualize the logs data with charts and graphs for example you can use time chart to track error occurrences over time and then after that splunk automatically extract fields from your log data but you can also create a custom field extractions if you need for example if you want to extract the ip address from your web server's logs you can use this command that i'll be prompted on the screen and this will extract IP addresses from your raw log events and allow you to analyze it further. And then after that, once you've finished analyzing the logs, you may want to save the search for the future use. And then after that, that's it. And that's how you analyze logs in Splunk. So using Splunk search and reporting features, you can dive deep into your log data and gain valuable insights. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.